Sports, tomorrow at 8. Welcome back to Good Morning Football. Earlier in the show, we brought you Ron Rivera's press conference live on NFL Network. And right after that, our very own Tiffany Blackman, who flew in just for this to talk to Ron Rivera. He took a moment to speak with her. Take a look. Coach, throughout your press conference, you were so passionate and you were really emphatic about winning those back-to-back-to-back division championships. After nine seasons, all the accomplishments, to have it end so abruptly, I know it it hasn't even been 24 hours yet, but what are some of the emotions you've experienced? Well, probably the first one really was just the disappointment of not getting to finish it off. You know, I would have loved to have been here 10 seasons, you know, only getting, you know, mostly nine. Um, that was probably the biggest thing. And then obviously, you know, I've always felt, you know, win or lose, my emotions really were dictated by that initially because when you win, you feel really happy for a lot of people. You feel real happy for the fan base, for the, for, for, for the team, for the players, for the individuals. And then you lose, you just feel like you let everybody down. So to a degree, I kind of felt all three of those emotions, you know, as, you know, disappointment and I felt the despair of what felt like a loss and I had the elations of having had the success that we had. Were you surprised when you got that phone call from David Tepper? Well, no, not necessarily. I mean, I was just kind of figured it was going to happen. It was going to happen at the end of the year, not as quickly as it did. But, you know, it happened, I thought, at, at a pretty appropriate time as well. I mean, you know, Mr. Tepper came in and, and said he wanted to meet with me. So we met, sat down, and, and we started talking. He said, look, he said, Ron, I have a lot of reasons why I want to do what I want to do. And I said, no, I appreciate that. I understand that. He said, well, first, is I don't want you dangling in the wind. I don't want you to have to deal with the constant question, the red hot seat, all that kind of stuff. He said, what I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to make it, you know, something that was that was quick and, you know, so that you can get ready to move on. And I said, I appreciated that. And then we started talking about what he wanted to do and, in terms of, you know, the, the, the other coaches. And he said, you know, I, I want to give a couple guys a couple opportunities. So we talked about that, and he, he brought up Perry Fuel, and I thought that was an outstanding idea. Perry's a guy who's had a lot of success in this league, just really hadn't got the opportunity. And that's one of the things that Mr. Tepper wanted to create was the opportunity for Perry, which I, I thought was a ter terrific idea. Then we talked about Scott Turner and what to do there. And, and, and I said, look, talk to Norv, because I, I know one thing Norv would, would really think is a great idea, give Scott Turner the opportunity to be the coordinator for the last four weeks with Norv there to help him. And I thought that was, that was another really good move. And so I got it. I get it. That's one of the things that I've always tried to explain to people is I, I understand this league. I mean, I, this is my 33rd year in it. And um, I do know it's production-based. So if, if you're not winning, not having success, it's time to move on. You also have to know that you and Cam Newton are always going to be tied together. You came into this organization together. You know what he's capable of when he's 100%. Do yep. not have had that these past two seasons. Can you just help but wonder what, what could have been? Well, yes, most certainly because, you know, there was a stretch before the Pittsburgh game in the, in the 2018 season where, you know, he was playing some pretty good football. I mean, he really was. His completion rate was over 70% for the first time, um, and, and he was doing a lot of good things. Then the shoulder injury flared up. And we saw the demise, and, and that, to me, was really the unfair part for him, is that here's this guy that things really seem to be clicking, seem to be really flourishing under North Turner's tutelage, and, and I just felt that, you know, wow, he's there. He's where he needs to be. So, you know, hopefully, you know, when, when the dust settles and going into the next year, that Cam's all healthy and ready to roll. He thanked you on social media. A number of current players, former players, did the same thing. Why was it so important for you as a coach to put the human being ahead of the player? Uh, because I, I think if, if you got a guy that's that's right off the field, he's going to be right on the field. I, I really do. I think that if a guy can 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 really be a guy that can handle all of his situations, circumstances, when he gets out on the football field, all he does is worry about is playing football. And I always thought that's important. You know, I always think that these these are young men that we've got to help prepare for, for life after football because the average career expectancy is 3.3 years. And 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 if these guys aren't ready for real life, I mean, you know, then then. They're going to struggle, and I just wanted to make I wanted to make sure as a head coach that you know I was helping these guys, I was helping to impact their lives on the field, but more importantly off the field. Nine seasons is a long time. Do you want to coach again? Oh, most certainly, I do. I I, I love the game. The game's been great to me, but I, I love the fact that you know I get an opportunity to work with people, impact people, and 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 it's I don't know. There's a drive about the competition that I really enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Excellent work by Tiffany there. The drive, of course, to be competitive and to win is one thing, but as Tiffany asked him, why is it more important to be a good man over a player, or why isn't character important, or thinking about your future? He said preparing them for life was just as important. It just shows that he's a, a, just a great man, even now, above a coach. And how about the fact he gives Tiffany that interview and agrees to do it? So many of these coaches, I, I just got fired. Mm. That was an extensive sit-down with one of his colleagues from the NFL Network, but also one of our colleagues, and I thought class all the way around from Ron Rivera and how cool of Tiffany and him to be able to have that opportunity. Let that be a lesson to people that get fired or released, and I'm talking to players and coaches, that sometimes the way that you go out can overshadow what happened while you were there. Ron Rivera could have did it the ugly way. We've seen it. You just said it. Coaches get fired. Let's just call it what it is. It's a big bleep you to everybody in the organization because they feel so scorned. But how he's handling this on the way out, doing it with so much pride and dignity, like it's almost like I'm not even focused on the bad times. Like all I can think about is those three, mm. let me repeat, three, three division titles, the Super Bowl run, and all the great things that he did, not only with the organization, but what he meant to that to those players in that community. So he's handling it the right way. Let this be a lesson. And what to Cap, you said about Tiffany, I'm friends with her, and she would always speak so highly about how Ron Rivera. She tweeted last night that she understands news. Is, I mean, she's a coach's daughter, too. She's been through this in her life. She said that she, she tweeted, I cannot tell you how much I appreciated his support, especially as a woman in this biz. He helped me understand the game better. Mm. A lot of owners watching this morning, too. And if Talk you're about it with your head coach right now, think about making a change. Ron's coming off real, real well. So just think about it. Nate. Mm. Nate. Real talk. Who's over there? Oh, we got a guest in the building. My guy Glover Quinn. Hey! Mr. Do It All. Safety. Let's go. Cornerback. He was, this is the man. One of my favorite teammates of all time. We're going to break it down. We're going to talk Detroit Lions, talk Texas, talk 